and uh, welcome again to the third lecture of linear algebra in this session we are going to look at the vector products we start with dot product also known as scalar product we will also look at the magnitude of a vector the meaning of unit vectors the geometric significance of dot product and uh, finding the angle between vectors using the dot product okay so the dot product is a way of combining two vectors in order to produce a number a uh, simply a number a scalar that's why it's also named as scalar product now let us uh, recall our old friends alpha and beta so that uh, by performing the dot products between them we can understand how to compute the dot products of any two vectors and the answer is we are simply going to multiply each component by its opposite number and then add them up so we are going to multiply the first component of alpha which is 3 to the first component of beta which is 1 so 3 times 1 then we will add this with the multiplication of the second component of alpha with the second component of beta so 1 times minus 5 and finally the third components 2 times minus 1 so we will add this 3 times 1 Plus one times minus five plus two times minus one, that gives minus four. All right, there's the dot product worked out uh, pretty straightforward, and of course, as you can see, it can be a negative number, it can also be a zero or a positive number, but the final outcome is simply a pure number. Yeah. so let's see what happens if we do the dot product of a vector with itself so let's do alpha dotted with itself so that's going to be alpha dot alpha equals 312 dotted with 312 now of course because we are multiplying each component by itself That is three times three, which is three square. One times one, which is one square. Two times two, which is two square. So we are adding squares, and square is always positive. Since we are summing up positive number, therefore, whenever we are taking a dot product of a vector with itself, the final outcome will be always a positive number. in this case we have 3 square plus 1 square plus 2 square equals 9 plus 1 plus 4 which is 14 so here as we obtain that alpha dot alpha which is 14 i hope you guys are familiar with this notation as we have introduced this in our first lecture that is this double absolute value of alpha it is just the square root of alpha dot alpha equals square root of 14 in general for a vector the square root of the dot product with itself has the name magnitude this is the magnitude of a vector and it is also the length of the arrow if we think in terms of a vector as a physical displacement that uh, lives in a three dimensional space then it would be the length of that arrow which can also be computed as we all know by using pythagoras theorem now this is an alternative way of computing the magnitude of a vector using the component form 
Now I want to introduce you a second vector called alpha hat it equals 1 by magnitude of alpha times alpha which is nothing but 1 by square root of 14 times 3 1 2. Now we will observe an interesting fact here that what we are going to do we are going to perform the dot product of alpha hat with itself. So alpha hat dotted with alpha hat that gives 1 by square root of 14 times 1 by square root of 14. Now 312 dot 312 this equals 1 by 14 and this is 3 square plus 1 square plus 2 square computing together gives us 1 yeah it is 1 right notice that the dot product of alpha hat with itself is just 1 that means that alpha hat has a special property it's what called as a unit vector being of course a fancy word for the number 1. Similarly, let's take the example of beta. We have beta equals 1 minus 5 minus 1. Let's compute the magnitude of beta. It is double absolute value of beta equals square root of beta dot beta. That is square root of 1 minus 5 minus 1 dot 1 minus 5 minus 1 we obtain one square plus five square plus one square equals square root of 27. So we have magnitude of beta vector is square root of 27. Now similar like alpha we can also define beta hat. Beta hat equals 1 by square root of 27 times beta that is 1 minus 5 minus 1. Now if we take the dot product of beta hat with itself that is beta hat dot beta hat Verify this yourself that you will get this as 1. So any vector, of course a non-zero vector, after scaling it by its inverse of magnitude, we can obtain an unit vector. Okay, now then a different thing, the dot product between two vectors has an alternative definition which uh, we can show is the same as the definition we have been using so far that is the dot product of alpha and beta can also be expressed in this way magnitude of alpha times magnitude of beta times cosine of some angle and what is that angle it's actually just the angle between the two vectors between their directions so here I am drawing a vector alpha going in one direction and uh, in the another direction is our vector beta. Then the angle in question would be this angle that we see between the two vectors when we draw them coming from a common point say origin okay so it's important to understand then that this angle can be a right angle that is 90 degree maybe an acute angle less than 90 degree or it can be an obtuse angle that is more than 90 degree it doesn't matter it can be anything but people often make this mistake as they start to play with vectors for some unknown reason they want it to be less than 90 degrees so they try and contribute this by make putting the vectors together in a way that will give them less than 90 degree 
but it's a mistake you should avoid this thing this angle can be any it can be less than 90 it can be greater than 90 it can be 90 if it is exactly 90 degrees then of course the dot product would be zero because uh, cosine of 90 is zero yeah that has some interesting consequences but right now we will uh, focus how to work out the angle between this couple of vectors alpha and beta so we have our alpha equals to 312 you can take any other vector if you wish and do it by yourself and if you have any problem please let me know while solving this uh, and beta, and we choose beta equals 1 minus uh, 5 minus 1 okay so now we have got everything we need so we pull down a copy of the definition there relating to alpha dot beta to its magnitude and the angle and fill in what we know for this choice of alpha and beta and we obtain cosine of the angle that we are after so now we just need to rearrange cosine of the angle is going to be equal to this minus 4 divided by square root of 14 times square root of 27 so this means that the angle in question is in fact going to be simply cosine inverse of this quantity. Plugging into the calculator you can either obtain the result in radians or in degree but the final outcome is we get the answer that is the angle between these two vector is this quantity.